Okay, chat, but, uh, welcome, welcome. Welcome to PC Build uh, stream number three. Uh, number one and two were a fantastic success. We really these crazy, take of the art, insane um, computers. And today, boys, we're building this bad boy that's gonna be able to run Minecraft at unlimited FPS. Uh, it's gonna be able to do React content at unlimited FPS with no drops and stream with no drop frames. Them, them straight. And some chess, too, some chess, yeah. Three, three more games to uh, chess to play. Okay. Chat, my favorite part is gonna be unboxing the juicers. Okay, first things first. Um, yeah, I wanna unbox everything, but. Uh, it'll be a little bit complicated, just because we can't fully unbox everything, but we kind of have to partially unbox it first. Okay, first things first, um, motherboard. So motherboard goes first. I got a ROG Crossair VIII formula, dude. Uh, chat, by the way, chat, guys, I know you guys are, you guys are gonna complain, okay, chat, this is a very overpaid computer, okay? Some of these parts were really way more expensive than they should have been, but it's COVID and whatnot, so it is what it is, man. Wing. Okay, here's what it looks like. Damn. That's crazy. Beautiful. Holy shit, it's heavy. I don't think I've ever seen anything this heavy before. So it looks like you can remove the, the film. Oh, yes. Now that's done for. Um, I'm gonna put it aside for now because that's gonna go in the case first. Okay then. Item number two. This is already opened because um, we kind of ripped it when it came to, to, to the mail. The carpet is fine. It's not. It's it's it's, it's not that bad. Carpet's fine. It, it didn't touch the carpet. Did it? Okay. Uh, can anybody in chat tell me? Um, you know, if there's static, how do I ground myself? Is it by touching metal or something? I forgot how it works. Okay. There you go. I touched it. Okay, we're grounded. Okay, I've never installed a Ryzen CPU before, or uh, AMD, so I don't know really how it works. I guess it's the same thing as always. Uh, pull the bracket up. First, we'll open the actual CPU itself. This is usually like 900 bucks, but this was like a, a 1.7K because of uh, scalpers. Feels a weird man. But there's no, real, there's no real alternative, so. So he says triangle on the corner. Gotcha, I'll bleed chat. Okay. Uh, this is the piece that is worth all the money, right here. Little metal bracket up, push down to the side. Ooh, I'm confused. Oh, that got it. Okay. For all the marbles, I actually have no idea what I'm doing. I don't understand. Matching the triangle. Oh, I see it. Oh, I see it. Okay, the triangle here, over there, is a little gold triangle. It goes under the gold upper right triangle, right? Got it, like that, it's in. Okay, now do I just snap it in with a click? Now this, this is what I call the, the snap. I hate it, but we gotta do it. That's it? Are you serious? There was no, there was no snap or there was no pressure. It just kind of went on its own. Is that normal? Okay. So Intel usually snaps, but I guess MD does not snap. Also, what's important here, the most important part of all this is the bragging rights. So whenever you build a PC, you gotta keep all those stickers. Whenever you buy these boxes, get little stickers, right? And you gotta keep all of them. Because nobody gives a fuck what's inside, right? Because everybody cares what, what's on the outside. So you can take pictures for Instagram and whatnot. So that is stickers are very important. Okay, Ram second. So, I did a little bit of overkill, boys. Overspent on this uh, overpriced 128 gigs of Ram juicers. So these sticks are 32 gigs per stick. It's 64, it's 128. If you do the math, okay. Opening the RAM up. Woohoo! Oh, this looks pretty cool actually. I like that. Opening the RAM itself. Why? Wow, it's actually heavy. Why is the thing so heavy these days? I, I'm, I'm so confused. This is actually heavy. 
So this is what I got, this Trident G Skill Neo. Oh, it has all, oh, because it has RGB. Ah, uh, once again, who cares how much RAM there is in this and how many gigs of RAM? What you care about the most is, it, does it shine? Yes or no? If it shines, it's faster. If there's light on it, it's faster. It's the rule of tech these days. By the way, chat, if you, yeah, if you think the computer is real overkill, uh, you're right, but um, I kind of overbought a lot of things just so if we do, I want to try one PC setup with a really good computer, and if it's not, it doesn't work as well as I thought it would, I'm going to kind of like break it in two and make two PCs with, the, with the, my old PC and the new, new parts and split in half, and we're going to get two PCs set up. Okay, let me do a little bit of explaining, boys. I know some of you guys already know this, okay, and you're like a, like a tech genius. So this is, um, I don't know why this computer doesn't have it, but normally you're gonna have two colors. You're gonna have like a, uh, like a black and a white, or like a black and a gray, or like something like a, a red and a black, right? These are your channels. It's something called dual channel, I think, or something like that. And basically, it indicates what pair you're gonna put them on. So if, yeah, right? What pair you're gonna, you're gonna use, but luckily enough, we have all the same ones, all the same, so it doesn't really matter that much. So we're gonna open the brackets up, open the brackets at the back, one, two, three, four. And we're gonna wedge the RAM inside the computer. One. Is it backwards? It's backwards, okay. This is normal, don't worry about it. Everybody makes that mistake. I usually put the, uh, the side that doesn't have the lever on first, right, I think. Okay, I fucked it up. Okay, I'm having problems. Okay, I'm literally gonna break it. It's, it's actually gonna break. Uh, hold on. This is actually hard in scanning your thing in fucking Among Us, man, I'm telling you, dude. Okay, am I doing this wrong? Yeah, the yeah, it's open. Oh, that got, got it. Now this should click, right? You should hear a click. Fortunately, it's so poorly put in that I'm gonna, it's it's gonna fucking break. Okay, I'm gonna fucking lose it. This is gonna break. Let me try another one. Yeah, go click then. Wait, this is not this is not even working. Okay, this is in, right? Is that in? Stick number two. Stick is in. Stick number three. Got it. Got it. Okay, boys. Now for the very last one. Here it goes. It's backwards again. Dude! Yeah, I know what's going on with this channel. It's just not... Oh, got it. Is it gonna click? Dude, I have to force it. Oh, it clicked. Okay. It looks all clicked in. What do you think, chat? Is it clicked in? Oh, gosh. We are around the wazoo, boys. Okay, next is gonna be the M2 drives. Okay, what are cool technological advancement, boys? Uh, we don't have to have these, uh, these... See, this is like the old SSDs, which are still very good. They're very strong, and they're still very, very pog. But um, those are a little bit better, and they're a little bit faster. They're also... Uh, they're, le they're less of a hassle to put in and to, you know, transfer over and stuff like that. So these are really, really good. And thankfully, boys, we got two of them. These are still connected with the SATA cable. Right? SATA cable and um, power cable. And these don't need anything. These only go straight to the motherboard. That's why I'm using, I'm plugging them in right now because we are building the motherboard first. Like that. And again, it looks like this. It's very really, really, really small, it's a small stick. And there you go. Everything on your PC that is like the games, the, 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 the boot, the, you know, Windows, everything, all the files, it's all in this little thing right here. Can you believe it? Isn't that crazy? Technology these days, man. And I think there's a company called Rocket, and they make those in like crazy storage. Like, 
Um, I don't remember how many gigabytes they put or terabytes they put in there, but it's it's, it's a good amount. Um, I think that the M2 drives are hidden under here after after they bolt it. So a little like a most motherboards don't usually have like unscrewables like this, but this is like a like fancy ones want to look cool and whatnot. So they put a deboltable like attachments, transformer looking things like that. I I don't see any more bolts. Oh, got it. Oh, it's just a strip. <gasps> okay, we're still good. We're still good. I see the slots. So you see the slots there? These ones? Kind of look like a cheese, like that. So they're gonna come. They're gonna come wedge it in there, across, and they're gonna come bolt it in into those bolts right here. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We should have some bolts here that come with the product. I think here they are. Yeah, here they are. These are special bolts. So these are like, um, see over there? These are like support bolts or whatever. They're very important. So one is supporting and one is holding it in place. And we're going to go set it up. Okay. So the support bolt goes for, wait, wow, I'm so confused. Do it again. So if I put it in first, it's the last bolt. Crazy. Okay. So I'm going to put it in. I'm going to spin it. Yeah, yeah, people say put the M2 first. That's not how it works. You need to put the support bridge first, and then you bolt it in. Then you put the M2 drive in. You wedge it in like this. Right? And once it's in place like this, you put the attachment bolt on, and then you bolt it. Just like so. Push it in. Yeah, it's in. Is it not in? I can test it with the other one. Ooh, Chad was right. It was not in. Okay, I'm stupid. I'm gonna debolt it, and we're gonna push it in. Now it's in. Now, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot about this. Yeah, when it's wedged in, it's, it's gonna lip up a little bit. I noticed that. See, I don't know if you can see it, but see that? Look at this. It's like, it's like um, lipping up. Now for the second one. Uh-oh. Ooh, that's so cool. Dude, it's like a dual bolt. Do you guys see it? It's a dual bolt collider, dude. It's a fucking colliding juicer. Look at it. Look at it. Then we wedge the other one in. Right? Now they're both open up. And then you get the bolt out. Then look at this. Boom. Okay, there's one thing that I hate about motherboards is static electricity and whatnot. So motherboards are really fragile and I hate working on them. So I want to get this as soon as possible. The faster I'm out, I'm out of the motherboard, the safer I feel. You good? Oh my God, it looks so good. Chat, look at this. Look at it. Look at this bad boy. Double bolted with one bolt, boat wedged in, juicer. Then we secure the whole load with this extremely heavy piece of metal that I don't know why it's like that. Okay. So here's something that I did, that I did wrong because I wasn't paying attention. Okay, but most of you guys know this, okay, but this is a nice... I think this goes in like most of the screwable things, right? When you're working with screws, it's one at a time, and you bolt it a little bit, right? Then the other one, right? Then the other one again. And then the other one again, right? You go gradually. See, chat? Now the memory of the computer is all set up, and it's secure in there, and then we never have to think about it again. We don't have to think about the, the wires, the supply of power to it. We don't have to worry about 
it's, it's positioning, is it loose, is it not? It's in there, dude, and it's bolted in, and it's, we never have to think about it ever again. Ah, wire. This is the Corsair Crystal, if I remember correctly. It's pretty good. Um, I want it to be big, just so, uh, yeah, I didn't mind what it looked like. I, I really didn't care. That is what it looks like. Like this, like that. And this is just for chat. Look at it. Okay, that's out of the way. Okay, now this is, in my opinion, the, the most stressful part that I don't like doing very much. It's actually lowering down the motherboard like a, like a crane did. And I really hate that. I don't like doing it. I think it's stupid. Okay, this is literally like, this is literally like Legos. I'm pretty sure. This is actually Legos. You just gotta lower down the whole thing and line it up with the screws. So I'm gonna try to not break it. There's a lot of wires in this in, in the slot that's very annoying me. Okay. We're not in yet. Oh, did I forget to peel the sticker off? I forgot to peel the sticker. This is really bad. Oh, it's already clicked in. Oh no. Okay, there was a sticker I had to pull out. Very important sticker. It, it was the uh, the IO Shield sticker. I think we're good. Now we gotta screw it back in. Okay, so there's like a bunch of screws. One, two, three, four. There's a bunch of them. And then we gotta, we gotta screw them in. It's pretty simple. Dude, this is so tight. There's so many spots I hate. Oh, I got it. It landed right in. Big Pac Man. Oh, that's Pac Man. See, the motherboard, the motherboard is still moving a little bit. So whenever the screws are not uh, lined up, I can just pull the motherboard in, in the right spot. And that's because we didn't screw the screws all the way in. We just give them a little push just so they're in, they're in place. So then, then the motherboard can still slide and go in its position uh, without any problem. That's why you don't screw in all the way whenever you screw it in. See, like th there's a piece of plastic. I don't know what that is. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, I fucked up. Wait, Chad, the CPU cooler. The X back, the, the fucking X back plate. I had to put the fucking, guys, I had to screw in the fucking X back plate before the motherboard. Oh, the back is open. Oh, this, bo okay, yeah, I think in this case the back is open. I, I, can, I can do it to the back. Okay, we're gonna continue screwing it in. If we have to unscrew it, we'll unscrew it later. Okay, and then we're gonna install CPU cooler. And then PSU. The bill I got the Kraken 7.3, it's what, it's what chat recommended. By the way, if you think your CPU cooler is super, uh, uh, water cooling is super needed, uh, it's really not. People will say, oh my God, what are you talking about? What is that? Let's be honest, dude, for most, if not all of, uh, usage of your computer, dude, I think the, the stock fan or one of those crazy big, like, Cheap ass metal fan is good enough. You don't really need uh, water cooling. It's really unnecessary. So this is like the radiator or whatever. I think this one goes on top. This is where the, the air gets cooled or whatever the fudge. This is like dissipates the heat or something. And then these bad boys are gonna go to the top, right? These go to the top like that, and depending on, depending on what kind of airflow we're gonna be running, it's either gonna be pulling the air out or pushing the air, uh, pushing, pulling the air in or pushing the air out. Um, what you normally want is one side of the computer to be sucking the air in that is fresh and nice, and then cool the stuff while it's, while it's going in, and then you want one to push it out, so you have a flow, that's why it's called air flow. And you see this right here? 
This is what we call pre-applied thermal paste. And this, people say it's bad. Uh, I don't necessarily agree. I kind of like it. Uh, I prefer this over self-applied paste. Not because I'm lazy. Actually, it's just because I'm lazy. Okay, let's do it. Um, what am I doing? Should probably take the back. No, nah, we can leave the back out. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Um, we're gonna be attaching the juicers onto this, right? So I think we take off the back plate, the top plates, then we attach the CPU cooler, then we wire it in properly. Then the next step is gonna, ooh, these are long ass screws, look at this. Does that even fit? It doesn't even... Yo, I don't think it fits, dude. Dude, it actually doesn't fit. Goes inside. No shot, it goes inside. What the fuck are you guys talking about, man? Yo, bitch, the side has the fucking, the, the other doors. Guys, guys, these come with the cases. I have to remove the case. I have to remove, mount at the top. Dude, it can't mount, it's too big. Yeah, this just doesn't fit, it just, it, just, it just doesn't. Look at this. Guys, if removing the case fans is a fucking hassle. It is so bad. Like they're already pre-installed and pre-wired and already pre-settled. It's gonna be terrible to remove them. I, I can't do anything. Does it even fit? Dude, it doesn't even fit, I, uh, I, I don't think. It does. So what, then remove all the screws then? Just debolt the whole thing. Oh wow, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Guys, they're welded to the fucking mesh, dude. Oh, I bolt this thing over here. So I bolt this in at the top. Okay, well this, this is gonna be really tough. I'm gonna keep it a stack chat, this is not gonna be easy. I mean, we have to remove all the wires that come with this at the back, then take this whole thing out. By the way, chat, this is literally soldered together. Guys, this whole plate is, is just, it's stuck together, literally. So basically, I have, I absolutely have to use this on top, the whole thing. No way around it. It's not, it, it is, it is, you're gonna have to believe me, it just is. Yeah, I mean, dude, this is, this is not gonna be easy, chat. Okay, so let me explain it. So these are come with the case, so these are case, uh, these are, Case fans, pretty much, but they come with the case, so they were pre-made to be there. And all the wires are already like well done and all well tight at the back. It's all really tidy and cool. And uh, now we have to literally remove the whole thing, break the back, remove the wires so so they get loose, and rescrew our thing manually at the top so we can put the the CPU fan intake from the side, and then we make, then we make it pull, and the top is gonna push or some shit. I don't know. Let me get this straight. Now the fans are all out and they're all loose, right? So I go to the back and I start dewiring it so the wires are loose enough that they can, go, they can, they can make the thing go to the top. And then we re-bracket the whole thing. Wait a minute. It doesn't fit. It's designed for the front. Okay.
the bracket stays here then. So bracket stays here, just like that. Okay, then we go to the back and we find the, the matching wires and we unleash them. Right? I mean, I could try to screw them on, but I think that, I don't think there's enough wire. Guys, these fans, they have to go to the top. They, they, guys, they, they don't make it, dude. The wire, look, there's not enough fucking wire, dude. Nah, it's just not gonna work. I have to, I have to go break it at the back. Okay. So I should undo the tie, the, the tie wrapper over here like this? Take that out? Okay. Now let's go see how much loose we can get. Okay. It's still not pulling out, dude. I, it's, it's just not. Oh, shit, it is. Okay. Dude, there's not enough space for three of them. Okay, just use two then. Okay. Can you even screw them in? Are you even allowed to? Dude, they're not meant to go there. Wait, no, it doesn't go like this, does it? This way? Like this? Dude. It, these screws aren't meant for this. Uh, it's going through the fucking plastic. Motherfucker, it's going through the plastic. Fuck it, I'm doing it. Okay, that's good. Guys, this airflow is going to suck balls. Literally balls. There's holes, I can fit my hand through the fucking case, dude. Look at it, I can fit my whole hand inside, dude. Guys, I spun this thing the both ways, and you guys said bo wrong side both times. What the fuck are you on about, dude? So these ones will go to the side after, to the top. That could work, sure. Wait, so I didn't have to unscrew the back then. You need 140 millimeter fans, these are 120. Bro, these are literally the same. Brother, these are literally the same thing. The radiator should fit in here. Yes, it fucking does. Okay, then I line up, oh, I need to unscrew the juicer first, hold up. I line up the fans, tubes from the bottom or tubes from the top? Okay, why would you have the tubes down? Aren't they gonna work against gravity, dude? Somebody said tubes down won't fit with the GPU. Longer lifespan of the product. Got it. Just like that. For now, we'll leave the thing outside. And then, what side do I put the fans on? This side? Uh, I, I don't get it. I really don't. You're right. We will have to pull out. Because if we install, if we want, if we want to install the radiator, we have to go from, from the outside. And from the outside, there's screw holes, but there's no way to get there because of the fucking... Dude, I, I can't. I'm going to fucking rip it. Oh! And then you install the thing on the bracket, and then you bracket it in. Ah! No, it's not the same size, dude. It's not... Guys... It doesn't fit, dude. 
center it. Okay, let's go. The fans in front or out back? Well, we're going to be using those then. Then we have to use those then. We have to. You put the bolts through it. The pace is, oh, the pace is gone. Fuck me, dude. Where did I put, where did I put the fucking cover for this? Maybe I can still save it. Fan number one. This one. Now how do we do it? Do we, do we just snap it in like that? What? Do I have to put the bracket inside? It's not gonna work like that, dude. This goes on the fucking PC, bro. Dude, the fans are on the wrong side, man. Guys, the wire's on the other side. This is the side of the bracket. Okay. Yeah, this paste is done for. Uh, we can just get new paste later. I'll get new paste at next or something, I don't know. Okay. The wire goes inside the computer. This goes on the outside. This is gonna hang the whole thing together. The fans then need to go inside the fucking bracket. So like this then. Inside the computer. Just like this. You cannot sandwich the bracket. The bracket has thumb screws which go directly onto the case. If we wedge something in, It'll have too much of a, and it, they're not, it's not gonna go in, dude. What about this side then? This side? Fuck it, I'm done. I'm gonna do the other fans. I'm doing these ones, fuck it. That's what I'm doing right now, fuck it. The bracket goes at the back, and then the bracket goes inside at the back with the thumb screws. And then there's no wedge, no nothing. It's just bolted on and GG. Two fans already in. It's not the wrong side, motherfuckers. Look. Logo outside, pumps inside. Which means reverse since we're working backwards. Pumps inside, not logo inside. That's what we have. Not logo inside, pumps inside. We have it. You're fucking dumb as shit. Shut the fuck up. I had it right the whole time, dude. I had, literally from the start, from the beginning I started this, I had it right. You had it wrong. No. The logo is in, in. The logo. Oh, wait a minute. Logo. Outside, um, wait a minute, okay, it needs to say NZXT on the way upwards, over the radiator, so radiator facing outside the case, no, 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 fans facing outside, radiator inside, but this doesn't work. With our current setup, because we have the bracket. So this is all fucked and we're all GG and it's, it's GG. It's over, I, I, I can't do anything. Because we have the bracket here. Okay then. So the fans go under the radiator. Oh, they, they both work. No, both formulas work. Look. It says fan inside, fan outside. They're both good. Direct mount. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. It's called direct mounting or indirect. And they, there's no, it's fine. They're both good. Chat, listen. The wires are going to be all around the place with this, with this build. It's going to be really bad. Because the wires, I had to... Normally the case is coming with all the wires already done. Uh, 
if you decide to fuck it and do your own wires, I mean, you have to redo the whole thing. The Verge 2.0, chill the fuck out, man. It only fits this way, I think. Yeah, it only does fit this way. Guys, is pump at the top this bad? Who said it doesn't matter? Hey, not bad, boys. Oh, the wires are backwards as well now. Okay, well, this is a fucking disaster. Uh, okay. The fans are going to be in the way. Uh, the wires, anyway, it's going to be fuck. It's going to be just ugly to look at. Well, the pump had to go uh, on the opposite side, and the wires would then be on the inside, so they can just slip in. But instead, it doesn't matter. Oh, is it even going to reach now? Did it might not even reach? Is the GPU going to fit though? ROG Strix Gaming Graphics Star GeForce RTX 3090 NVIDIA ASUS or OC O'Clock 2040 GPU Juicer. Damn, dude. This is the most expensive piece of the computer. Boys, this is the all-in. There it is. Okay. There you have it. That's the P, that's the PS, PS de resistance, Pac-Man. Okay, let's see if it fits inside of the computer. And it doesn't. Nice. I, 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 think, I don't I think it literally doesn't. Nope, it doesn't. It literally just doesn't fit. I think you do for it. Putting it back into the box. Goodbye. Okay, I'm kind of done with this chat, I'll be honest with you. I'll take off the fence out. With the fans, it will, but. Okay, uh. ready? Ugh. Is it on the right side? Yeah, it is. It's not clicking. It's not clipping. There it is. Okay, it's clicked in. Yeah, I mean, this is so bugged that it does. I can't even screw it in. It's not lining up. I can't fucking screw it. It's actually not lined up. Push. Dude, I'm pushing right now. Uh, I think this case is just trash. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. I think it's this, this just a bad case. I don't know why a case of this size would have no spot for a fucking decent, like not even that crazy water cooler at the top. It does, it, it doesn't. I mean, look, you can look for yourself, look. Uh, that's one slot, one, one, two, two. That's two slots, you need three slots. I mean, look, and even then, even then, the GPU slot doesn't fucking line up, dude. Look at the screw lineup. You can't screw it in. Unless you're meant to use the fucking squares part, but I don't think so. Guys, are you seeing it? None of the holes actually line up. I can try the other one. We can try the other one, why not? Nope. 
Nope, you were wrong, chat. That slider right there ends in a, in a it ends straight through. It, it doesn't have any uh, notches or any, any sort of thing to, to put anything in there. The last part of the GPU is straight, it's not round. I could build in the old case, you're right. But then I would have no computer for a couple of days. I mean, I also need to buy a new case. This one is, this one is just really bad. It's just, it's just not a good case, I don't have to tell you. Okay, let's test it out with the bottom chat. I'll test out the GPU with the bottom slot, and if it doesn't work, I'm done with it. Let's click then. Do you see those holes? This is me pushing at max force. You just don't fucking get there, dude. Look at the fucking holes. Look at them. You're not going to fit this in there. Let me push the case. What the fuck you get? Let me push the case. From the outside? Oh shit. Yeah, that works. Mm. Nah, this is, I, I'm gonna fucking break it. It's gonna break. That's fucking stupid as shit. Yeah, no, I just thought about this. This is fucking dumb. Why the fuck would I push it in? What, if I push it in for it to stay, when it's pulling, it's gonna pull on the fucking GPU itself, man. It's gonna pull on the shield. That's fucking stupid. If I, if I put pressure on it to stay together, then when it's on its own, it's gonna pull on the fucking shield. Uh, no shot, dude. No fucking shot. I'm done. I'm, I've had enough of this. I'm, I can't. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done with this. I'll get a new case. I can't. This is just trash. Uh, I broke the terminal paste. I fucked up a bunch of things. I, I debuilt the fucking... In yeah, I'm done with this. Okay, I'm gonna rebox most of this stuff. Uh, I can't chat. We need a new case. The airflow is gonna be bad even if I optimized it. Because the fans can't go up top, dude. It can't go up top. And then the fucking... The GPU slot is literally misdone. This slot is actually just not done properly. It's fucking broken. Remove the brackets. Okay. Just because you're fucking stupid, I'll do it. I did it. Brackets out. Okay. Okay. How do you even fit that in there, dude? Yeah, see, it's just not doing... Dude, it's doing fuck all. I'm so done. Dude, look at it. The screws aren't going to fit in there, dude. Oh, I'm done with this. I'm taking it out. Okay, chat, I'm canceling the build. I can't do it. Also, chat, chat I would go play games, chat, but we're, we're going to run out of power. So I, I literally can't do it. I'll do some shit off stream though. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna make a good setup for the computer. I'll make it so um, we can do IRL, we could do, we can do uh, things on the house, we could do gaming shit without ever stopping. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go do that right now actually. Okay, chat, thanks for everything chat. Thanks for everybody, thanks for all the stuff yourselves. I'm sorry chat, I guess we fucked up. Listen, Chat, as much as I'm not that great at building PCs, okay, there's nothing I gotta done with this fucking case. This case was a disaster. I'll get a new case, we'll finish the build. Also, I'll put the stream, it'll be, it'll be Pac-Man. Okay, chat, look at this. Okay, chat. Whoa! Thanks for being here, chat. Look at this, I'm signing out. Goodbye.